Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And if you guys are looking for opportunities, definitely click subscribe, join the channel. Let's ride this commodity bull market higher together. I'm gonna do technical analysis on uranium. It is what I would say the cheapest, uh, it is the cheapest commodity in relationship to gold uh, of any of the commodities. So this one I think has the highest potential. Uh, there's a ton of leverage here. But with leverage comes volatility. And we've seen insane amounts of volatility all over the place. So my what I'm doing is I'm continuing to add into the, the sector. If I see something I like, I'm gonna add in. There's a couple companies that here that I like. I'm gonna zoom in on them. I'm gonna show you which ones I like. I'm gonna show you the ones I'm buying and why I'm buying it from a technical analysis perspective. So let's jump in here. And you get to see my opinions on the companies that I like. So here we go. And what I'm looking for, as I, I call it, cohesive flow. It's think of charts as one continuous flow from one day to another. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I look at in some of these charts. So I'm looking at URNM. I've got a bunch of things drawn in here. The red lines is the momentum to the upside. Think of a big move up and then a pullback. Big move up, a pullback, a big move up, a pullback. And you're doing this over and over. And then what you're going to start to see is your, your red lines are getting smaller as you go up. They're contracting in size. Your momentum is slowing a little bit. And they're starting to get less steep. This is a very steep one. Steep, steep, steep. And then it starts flattening out. They start flattening out as it turns to roll over. Now we put in... This last day is called a bearish engulfing candlestick, which means that we opened above the day before the opening price and closed below the closing price of the day before. We're engulfing the day before it, and it's a down day, which means that we started good and then ended weak. The momentum's to the downside, and more than likely, we could see a pullback. Now, if you were to look at this from a one cohesive flow look at, look at it, because remember, these, each candlestick's a day trading. Day here, day here, day here. What if we looked at this as one cohesive move? So if you look at it from a one cohesive move, this is what it looks like, and this is what I'm interpreting from the candlestick chart, just the past five, one, two, three, four, five, these five days right in here. This is what it looks like real time. We came on down, we bottomed, broke the downtrend, coming on up, looking great, and we broke the uptrend and are heading lower. That's why I'm, when, when I see this candlestick and I see this pattern, I know this exists behind it. That's why I'm saying that it could potentially go lower because we broke the uptrend over the past few days. That's what I see when I look at these charts. And when I see Camco, we're coming on up, we broke the down, the, uh, sorry, we broke the uptrend, and we've got these large down days with the smaller up days. The sellers are still out here. They're still controlling this. Now that, always keep in mind, we are working with probabilities. These are not for sure outcomes. We, there could be reversal at any point here where this pushes it higher. There could be news. There could be people shifting portfolios around to rebalance that, that can kind of mess this thing up. But right now, I'm still seeing sellers out there. They are getting less, I should say the momentum is slowing by the selling pressures. It is slowing down here. And we are, I think, gonna come to a bottom very soon. But they're still out there, and I, I haven't seen the reversal candlestick yet. I haven't seen this thing reverse higher, at least in Camco and URNM. Now in next gen, we do have a little bit of a reversal. I would like to see a big, opening and closing price, a big body stick candle like this guy here. This is a big one. This means that you've got lots of power moving up and then a sharp reversal point, And then it's going to continue to go higher until we don't. But when you look at the beginning of these moves over here, you usually see a big kind of a, an increasing move where you, you've got a bunch of buyers outweighing the sellers. And then eventually you'll hit a point where the sellers start to out, outweigh the the buyers, and you can see a lot more selling days all through here as we move up, which means the sellers are, are weighing down this stock and eventually we're gonna turn, potentially head lower. 
But things are a dynamic. Just keep that in mind. I'm not selling out. I'm just holding on and watching this. We're still above this trend line here. Uh, Fission Uranium, it looks like the trend line's holding. We got this nice big hammer pattern and smaller down days behind it. With how volatile this is, I'm going to tell you, I have no idea which way this thing's going to go. I mean, this was a very sharp reversal day right here. We've got two hammer patterns. Usually that means higher. Usually. But we've got Camco showing lower, and we've got URNM showing lower. So I've got mixed signals all throughout the uranium companies. They're all mixed everywhere, depending on uh, the location of the deposit and the company. So this one, I would say, doesn't look bad at all. Trend lines holding. We've got two hammer patterns in a row, small down days. I would say that this looks pretty good. Looking at Denison Mines, we're coming up on its support line. I don't see a ton of buyers over here. But the sellers aren't, they're not really putting it down either. So I would say sideways. Don't really see buyers or, or, or sellers really winning this battle. Energy fuels kind of posting a little down day. The buyers are definitely not over here. They're not pushing this too much higher. Whenever the buyers step in, the sellers step in. So I think this could potentially break this trend line and head lower if the buyers don't step in. It's it's right here where the the, the buyers are leaving the door open for the sellers to push this lower. That's that's what I'm seeing. Now let's let's wait and see what they do. Uh, UEC they this broke the the uptrend line to the downside, and I see. Some sellers all through this section in here. We do have a little bit of a response by the buyers and slow leak off of sellers here. So we're getting to a point where it's probably going to turn here very soon to the upside for some of these companies. I think this one, we're still in the downtrend. We haven't broken the downtrend yet, but it looks like we've got a, you know, the sellers are getting a little tired. But I have to see the buyers step in. I it's like, where are you, buyers? Now, the buyer stepped in here and pushed this guy higher, and I think this is probably going to end up moving upward because we've got large, big, large up days, big volume, and then the small little sell-off. It's a lot more contracted. So that one does. That one looks good. Encore Energy, now this thing's just a battle and a half. We have this big up day, two small down days. I still think it's going <laughs> to... We've got a we've got an uptrend line that broke to the downside. This is a tough one. I wouldn't do anything here. I just hold. Now, deep yellow, this thing looks fantastic. I actually think it went up a little bit more than this. We're at support down here. I like how this it, it came down. I'll show you. Let me zoom in on this section over here. Red line, momentum. Momentum down, momentum down, momentum down, then a bullish engulfing. I like this setup. I think it's going to go higher right here. I bought some today. Um, we've got nice support down here below it. I like this one right here. I like deep yellow. That's a, that's a good looking chart. Uh, forces metals broke its uptrend. Another, uh, African co co uh, company coming on down two big up days with a smaller down day. I like this one too. It doesn't look too bad. And I think eventually it's going to maybe go chop sideways a little bit or move to the upside. We've got volume on those up days. I, I think this is looking a lot better. Than, than a lot of the other companies uh, that we've already looked at. Bannerman's another one I think is, that's good to go. We've got the sideways movement. We've come on up. We've pulled back. And this is now sideways. The momentum has worked off. I think it's got some potential to go sideways or higher. And I think this is a good support line underneath it. So we've got three African country, you know, African companies that look good. Deep Yellow, Forces. And Bannerman. Gobiax is also looking good. If you notice, you draw this guy across, you got a big, huge update here. We do have a little bit of a selling pressure here, but it, it's not as big as this one. If it comes back up, the momentum's coming back up. So I, I think I think it's gonna be okay. We've got Global Atomic is not looking as good as those others. It was looking great through here. It depends what this day does here. If it's a small down day, no big deal. If it's a huge down day, if it comes all the way down to like 220, probably might head a little bit lower, but it's still holding in there. It doesn't look too bad. Now, Laramide's not looking too bad. We have these large up days, and then we've got a, a, a small down day. The momentum is to the upside. So that, I mean, we have, we did break the uptrend. 
pull back, big move up, little, little maybe small couple down days, and I think we might see move upward. Vision is just moving sideways, Vision 3.0 that is. And I, I don't really have too much to say here outside of it's gonna it, probably going to move sideways. Now, Sky Harbor, this guy's got a lot of momentum to the downside and these two up days. I wouldn't do anything here. I'd wait. I'd be looking for more downside just because the downside was so dramatic. Um, I, I just wouldn't be doing anything here. Uh, Can Alaska is the same way. We got this big up day here, but we broke the uptrend, big sell off, big volume. We, we are coming back up. Uh, I'm just not doing anything with it. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, it's a lot of momentum down, a lot of momentum up. The, the volatility here, I, I don't like playing with it when it's this volatile. Uh, Pier Point's been moving sideways, but still in an uptrend. Still looks good. Big up days as well. Look at the, the volume on the up days. It looks pretty good. Now, base low looks fantastic. I like it. You can draw this in. Bullish engulfing right here, and it's shot higher, and it looks like it's going up today. Uh, for the TSX, I think it's it's a catch-up day, so to speak. Uh, if I zoom in on this right-hand side down here, uh, we've got the bullish engulfing. That's what I look for. That's a reverse reversal candlestick pattern where it's coming from a downtrend into reverse, and it's going to go into an uptrend probably. So I like it down here. looks good. Uh, Standard Uranium, this guy looks like the momentum is slowing, and it may kind of do a little pullback before heading higher. A lot of retail buyers in here buying this. Centris Energy, another one that broke to the upside. Back testing, I like buying the back test. That's where I usually buy. Uh, same with UEX CF, it's still in this up uptrend line. Nice little sell off, but it's contracting. Uh, I think we're gonna probably try putting in a bottom right in here. So I've been I've been buying a little bit in that area. ALX Uranium, a real small kind of exploration company. It's, it's more than just uranium. They got a bunch of stuff. And it's been moving sideways. Uh, Azen Court, again, this guy's been slow pullback. It's just kind of in this dead period. I like, I just add a little bit. Again, I don't own a ton of Azen Court. Uh, I just hold on. It's it's retesting this back here. You know, I, I, I like just buying it in this kind of dead zone. I think the... The downward move is kind of exhausting itself. Here's Lightbridge. Uh, again, we broke this downtrend here, and I think we're in an uptrend. So it looks good. And then Forum Energy Metals, this thing's been pretty volatile back and forth. Moving sideways, I, I don't know which way this thing's going to break. It's, it's, going, it's trading between $0.34 cents and I'd say $0.42. Cents. And there's a lot of buyers and sellers on, on both sides of this. And it's just sandwiching it between those two prices. So we'll see which way it breaks. Again, uranium, huge mix here. Uh, I think the best companies are Bannerman, Deep Yellow, Baseload in terms of charting. That's just straight charting. Uh, there's some, some weakness I still see in Camco and URNM. Is it going to pull back further? Tough to say. The, the momentum is down. But it could change very quickly. I'm seeing these things. They're volatile all over the place. Up, down, all around. And what I like to do is nothing. <clears throat> I'll buy the ones that have good chart patterns. I'm sitting on everything else. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to watch it. And this thing could go either way. I, I don't... At this point, you've got... It's a mixed bag. You've got some that look really good. You've got some that look like they could, could continue to pull back. And then you've got this volatility. It looks like things are rotating all around the place. This is a tough one to read, uh, but I can tell you this. It's going to be a fun ride. It's going to do whatever it's going to do. And we got the valuation. We got the, the, we got the tailwinds in our back, the inflation. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people debating inflation, deflation. I think we have the inflation. It's in our face. We got the tailwinds behind us. We got the, the valuations towards us. People are not, the money's not in this sector yet. It will come. And that's what I'm waiting for. The charts, it's, they're at, some of them are at turning points. Other ones, a little bit of downside momentum is left, and then I think we'll turn. When that turn will exactly be, we'll let the charts determine that, uh, but I think it's very soon. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.